Hey guys, how you going? Aussie Stuntman or Minecraft Friend? It depends on what you know me as here. Just doing a couple of tutorials for Cinema 4D, helping you with your Minecraft renders or any renders you want to do. This is another one for 3D text. Last one I showed how to make 3D text. This one I'm going to show you how to make shiny, glossy, or what do you want to call it? Mirror imagey looking at 3D text as we, as we do before. This is just going through what I did in the last video. I will not go through it in too much detail because if you want to watch it in the last video, it will show you how to do it. But then see, so you just get your text. Or you want to just, just, just say Minecraft. Always spell it wrong. Don't know why. Damn dyslexia. See, there we go. Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft. Okay, there we go. So you know you were Minecraft. Come on, top here. Noobs, extrude noob, bring it on top there. So you got the extrude noob here, and then we like just where you find the position you want to put it in. We'll put it like here, your position. How the basics? Where's the where's the font? I used a font for someone's um, th uh, outro just before, and it was really nice. I want to try and find that one again. Podcast it ready. I don't know, where are we, do 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 do, going through some font, there we go, I just, I just like this one, looks nice, there we go, Minecraft, we'll bunch it up, make it a bit running writing-ish, you don't have to do this, it's apparently up to you to what fonts you use, but there we go, and see it looks a bit skin, skinny on the skinny side, so hit go and click on this one, because that's to do with the text, this is to do with how it, Basically, how I know fans out, or what do you want to call it? Come down to where are we? Object, sorry, object here. See it's 0 by 0 by 20, so we've got to change it, make it go, make it 40. See it comes out a bit there. Looks pretty spiv, makes it look a bit nicer. Do, 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 do. And now we want to add a color to it, so we'll come in here, bring it back to where we were before, sorry. About to there. Minecraft. So we'll come down, file new material, come down here. Give this a bitch, what they call it, some color. What color we want to choose? Why haven't we done? Do yellow, really light yellow. No, wrong way. Where are we going? This way. What does that look like? Let's have a look. Whack it on here. So you can either put it on there, or you can move it up to the top one here. Depends on what you want to do there. Let's just have a quick look at this. There you go. 3D text, no glowing on it yet. So what you want to do next is come to this little bar here, the one next to the one where you got the noobs. You've got the next one here, you have this one around here, and you do have the connect tab. You want to put that up there as well. Oh, sorry, first of all, what I want to do is sorry, click on here. This uh, the bit I always, always, always forget. Add reflection to this material here. So come down, reflection, click on it here, and bring the brightness down. Otherwise, it looks straight like that, like straight, you know, mirror reflection. Bring it down. You can leave it around halfway. Let's leave it halfway click on it uh, you can kind of see it a bit there not much because there's no lighting yet but what I'm going to do is file open uh, where are we open the lighting and it's not going to work is it oh is it working not responding <laughs> there we go Open up here, see now we bring in lighting into it. This is the other way. Basically, you had to get reflections. You need reflections of it, and we're using reflections of light. You can use other lighting in here, but using the gorilla pack. So I'll just bring this down a little bit. Control C, Control V, make a second one. Bring it out, right out to the side. Then I'm um, like 45 degree angle it. Well, around 45 is really mad, and then 45 it again. Yeah, it's close enough. Then we go to the movement tool and bring it back over. Oh, wrong one. Bring it back over to the front. You see how it's dark at the front and then slowly brings it lighter. And we'll bring it up a bit more over here. And then zoom back in. And you can see the lighting is now all over it. So we do have the reflection on it. And the, we haven't, we've got the connect. We haven't connected it yet. So we'll hit this, have a look. The lighting. I don't know if it's a slight more reflective than it was before. Not that much. You can see in like that top of the letters it does look that little bit reflective but it needs that little bit more um bit more punch to it basically to get that reflective going so what i want to do come back up here do, 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 do. let that just finish out there see it does look really nice 
there. But what you want to do is actually bring your extrude noob, go back out, bring the extrude noob up to the top here to, to connect. And then see, it brings out that color. So straight away, the color's gone. You're like, hey, I want to bring that color back to it. So bring out your color, whatever you're using. It looks like a more like a gold here. We're using them, bring it up and put it onto the top there. And there you go. And then you should render it out. And let's have a look what it looks like here. A lot of people's um, computers will be faster than mine. Mine is not that fast. So that's why it takes a little bit long. You see people do example and it's like, bam, it's like straight there. And then for mine, it's not really. Anyway, guys, there you go. There you do have your um, shiny mirror image text. Looks really professional looking. I'm not sure if it's the right word to use, but it just looks not really, it wouldn't really say professional. It does look a bit crappy now how those lined over. So we'll just go back to the text. The horizontal lining will... Bring it back a little bit. See, so it disappears on my computer because my computer is shit. Now it's just keep. No, look, it's still moving. I'm not even clicking it. Oh my gosh. Well, hopefully that does look a bit better now. So we'll just bring it out this way. We'll bring it back in. And hit on. Bring on the shine. There we go. That looks better. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you can get a professional. Not only professional, but a nice. Klein, 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 clean reflection on your text. They looks really good. It have to kind, it have to suit the picture or the background or thumbnail or the outro that you're doing. But shiny text it does look nice. And also choose the right font as well. This might be the right font for you. I just like it because it looks a bit like running writing. Anyway, guys, hopefully this helped you out with making some like schmick shiny text. Want to call it reflective text? Mirror it, mirror. It text or something like that you could want if you to put uh, chrome right across it there then it can reflect fully off the background or then if you want to do something like this you go add a floor in there bring the floor down then add uh, wait, wait, file new material Break out the new material, go reflective, go leave it at brightness 100, and then whack that onto here, and then render that B arch out. And there you go, you could also do something like that. It just doesn't really reach the bottom because of how you can see how I have that F at the end. But you could just work that out with what fonts and what lettering you use to where you're going to have it reflected from the top to the bottom. And you could do something like that where you have shiny text and a mirror image on the bottom. I know a lot of people have been doing that now. A lot of people are doing mirror image texting like this. But this is just like, just like a little bit more advanced way of the shiny text. So you can have it on your floor as well. But you wouldn't have it in a straight line like this. You'd have it at some form of an angle or angled towards you or angled away. But the mirror text, I oh know it's kind of iffy on the place you'd use it. I'm not sure if you'd use it on a thumbnail. I might use it on a header for like Twitter or YouTube. Just wait for this thing. Oh, but then you get the dodgy thing. There you can see the soft top. I mean soft box there. So that is a bit of a fail in my terms there. I don't know that was going to show up at the bottom. But anyway, guys, there you go. I'll leave that, stop that one there. But Minecraft, shiny schmick 3D text. And all, and it, it, the best way to make it look better is basically just to come in here, output, see it's only set to 30, 24, basically to bump it all the way up to whatever you want to. The more, the higher you go up, the better it will look. Anyway, guys, hopefully this helped you out. If it did, please press like, share with your friends, and I'll catch you later.